Hi everyone, we made it to summer. Another three months of working, schooling, and socializing from home for many of us. I hope you're able to find some balance and to create happy memories during this challenging times. For Qualcomm, this quarter has brought a lot to look back on. Not the least of each was the August decision by the Ninth Circuit to reverse the decision in the FTC cases against us. The court unanimous reversal validate our business model and patent licensing program and underscore the tremendous contributions that Qualcomm has made to the industry. The last two years have not been easy, but I'm so proud of how we reacted and how we stayed on course. We stood for what we believed was the right thing to do and we focus on our core competence, innovating leading technologies. This is the competence that set us apart. I know I said this before, but I feel honored to work alongside my fellow Qualcommers, and I'm super excited about the situation, the company it is right now. Let me take a minute to highlight some things we're able to accomplish by staying focused and committed to bringing 5G to the market and to everyone. To date, we signed more than 100 5G license agreements, up from 85 agreements just last quarter. This includes a new long-term global patent license agreement with Huawei. We're now in a period in which we have multi-year license agreements with every major handset OEM. This is a result of our strong and relevant IP portfolio and our track record of driving innovation. 5G network deployments are also progressing as planned, if not faster. With 5G, wireless has become the superior connectivity technology, and it should be no surprise that commercialization is moving this fast. Over 90 operators have launched 5G networks in more than 40 countries, with over 300 more investing in the technology. In the United States, all major operators have launched 5G services in the millimeter wave band, and most 5G device models offered in the country are supporting it. 5G millimeter wave services are also being launched in Asia and Europe this year, and successful spectrum auctions have recently concluded in Italy, Finland, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Thailand, and Singapore, and more are coming. In Germany, the government has already released millimeter wave spectrum for 2021 launches. As we look out over the next two to three years, we expect millimeter wave to be deployed or licensed on all continents. Qualcomm is one of the driving forces behind millimeter wave for 5G. From a standards perspective, Release 16 has been finalized, expanding the reach of 5G to new services, spectrum, and deployments. And device makers are equally active. In China, just midway through the calendar year, and despite the impact of COVID-19, 5G now represents the majority of domestic mobile phone shipments. According to the China Academy of Telecommunications Research, June domestic 5G smartphone shipments representing 63% of total, more than double the penetration in the month of March. There are hundreds of products announced or in development using our technology. It's exciting to see the many new devices being announced in markets across the globe to take advantage of the faster speeds and low latency of 5G. And we recently announced our four series Qualcomm Snapdragon 5G mobile platform which has the potential to enable 5G smartphone prices as low as $150, making now accessible to more than 3.5 billion smartphone users around the world. And our systems approach to 5G RF front end has also been extremely well received. Virtually all of our 5G design wins continue to be powered by our RF front end solutions, even as we migrate to a third generation platform. As a consequence of our modem RF system strategy and solution, we expect to emerge in fiscal 21 as one of the largest global RF front end vendors by revenue. And going beyond the handset, at IFA last month, we announced the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8CX Gen 2 compute platform. This platform delivers 50% greater total system performance and 50% better battery life than competing solutions, allowing for a fanless, thin and light design with multiple days of battery life. And because speed and stability are critical for productivity, 
Snapdragon 8 CX Gen 2 enables fast and reliable connectivity with 5G millimeter wave, sub 6 gigahertz, and Wi-Fi 6. Equally important to highlight is bringing connectivity to homes as we rely on effective and productive ways to work, learn, and connect. 5G fixed wireless access using millimeter wave and sub 6 gigahertz to connect homes and small business provide the experience of fiber at a lower deployment cost. Fixed wireless access connections are expected to account for now 25% of the global mobile network data. That's very significant. And we're actively working with the ecosystem and over 30 OEMs that have chosen the Snapdragon X55 Mode RF system for more than 80 fixed wireless access products. We're seeing strong momentum with operators in Europe as well. We're working with operators across the region, British Telecom, EE, TIM, Deutsche Telekom, and Swisscom, to name a few. Many of the fixed wireless solutions feature the Qualcomm Networking Pro Series platforms for next generation Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. This is a great example of the combination of Wi-Fi and 5G for amazing experiences. In Auto, we recently announced our strategic collaboration with Ioneer. And now, in addition to platforms for advanced autonomy, we have a scalable solution for ADAS level one to level four. This builds on our success in the automotive industry. And we also launched our next generation XR platform, the first to support 5G extended reality. Snapdragon XR2 was built from the ground up and was designed to push the boundaries of what's possible. It enabled our customers like Facebook, who launched their Oculus Quest with XR2 to create a new generation of experiences and devices. Qualcomm continues to power all major XR consumer devices. But amazing progress is also being made in IoT. And there's one fun example. Although most of us are not flying right now, Snapdragon is. Just a couple months ago, a Snapdragon processor left for Mars, powering the aircraft ingenuity that is part of the Perseverance rover mission. Isn't that cool? There are just some of the things I'm excited about and we're working hard on them. As I look back on the quarter, I'm pleased with how 5G has progressed and I'm so proud of how the industry is working together. It's a good time to be in telecommunications and I honestly believe that the best years of Qualcomm are still ahead of us. I look forward to speaking with you next quarter and sharing some of the cool things we're doing it right now and answering any questions you might have about 5G and Qualcomm. In the meantime, you can follow me on Twitter for updates and watch my keynote at the Qualcomm 5G Summit on October 20. I'll be announcing something new, and I look forward to sharing this exciting news with you. Thank you.